Now that the hype has died down and we're a month removed from the actual release for the Travis Scott Black Phantoms, I'm starting to get like a lot of DMs and a lot of questions in the comments section, you know, asking me if, you know, this is a good price to pay for these now. You know, should I sell these now? Is it going to keep going down in price? Is it going to go up in price? So I figured, you know, this is a good time to make an updated video and let's talk about the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Black Phantom. Now, when it comes to the Travis Scott Black Phantoms, there's a couple of things that, you know, I want to say, especially about the way that I feel about these. For one, this is a really nice sneaker. Is it better than the Mochas? No. Is it better than the Reverse Mochas? No. Is it better than the Fragments? No. But this is a very nice, clean sneaker. Now, as a lot of you guys probably remember, this sneaker was very tough to cop on release day. This was not an easy sneaker to obtain, especially for retail. A lot of L's went out for this sneaker right here. And for those of us that, you know, were able to catch W's and pay retail for them, this was like hitting the lottery because hitting on a Travis Scott anything is like damn near impossible. You just can really not like hit for retail on Travis Scott's. It's always super hype no matter which one it is. And, you know, it's almost impossible to get a lot of them are backdoor. The raffles kind of seem bogus. And, you know what I mean? To get your hands on one of these, it's very, very tough. Now, personally, I think you guys should keep them like I, keep them for your collection you know what i mean because it's not like every day that a travis scott comes out you know what i mean now i know you know a lot of travis scott's are worth money and stuff like that so a lot of you guys are tempted to sell it and for those people that want to sell it i'm going to tell you to hold on to it do not sell it anytime soon i do see these going up in price in the future now i'm not saying it's going to be a 1700 dollars mocha or anything like that i'm not saying it's going to get there maybe someday but you know it's going to be a very long time you're going to have to hold it for probably years but in my opinion i believe that these are creeping up in price not going down some people have kind of been holding out you know what i mean kind of thinking that it's going to be you know maybe in the 500s or something like that and in the men's sizes, I just don't see that happening anytime soon. I think it's going to be the opposite. I think the best time to buy these for resale was probably two weeks ago. And the best time to buy them now is right now. Um, you know, they're creeping up to like that $700 range, like average and stuff like that. And um, and I'm looking on GOAT, guys, like for prices, because I know a lot of you guys probably ain't going to buy on StockX. You know, you're going to go to GOAT and, you know, maybe eBay or something like that to pick these up. Um, this is going to go up in price, guys. So um, some of you guys have been hitting me up, telling me that you got them for 640 bucks, something like that. That's a good price for these. You know what I mean? Like if you can maybe, I don't know, negotiate a little bit, get them for like 620 if you can. That's a great price too. Basically, anything closer to the $600 mark is, in my opinion, in the men's sizes, is a good price to pay for these. Um, just because like I do see these going up. Now, I kind of see like maybe like a year from now, this is probably going to be like a 750 maybe $800 shoe. And, you know, is it going to be over 1K? It's going to be a while, guys. You know what I mean? But I still totally recommend holding on to them. Don't let these go. You know what I mean? You should definitely keep these in your collection. But if you want to sell them, I would hold these for at least another year or two. For, like, And I'm not even like exaggerating. You know what I mean? Because these are going to go up in price. Every Travis Scott does. You know what I mean? Some take a little bit longer than others, but they always go up. You know what I mean? Now, this sneaker, it's very clean, but it's very plain. There's not like a whole lot going on with it. It's predominantly a whole, you know, basically just a black sneaker with some white hits on it and stuff like that. Some contrast white stitching, but it is very, very nice. Like this is going to look great in the summertime. You know what I mean? When you put outfits together and things like that. And um, I think if you sell these now, you're going to regret it because for one, you're not going to have the shoe anymore. And for two, you know what I mean? Like you're going to feel like, man, I should not have sold that sneaker as cheap as I did. You know what I mean? And uh, we're only scheduled to really get one more Travis Scott low, and that is the olives. And that's supposed to drop in March. It might get, it might get pushed back because there's a lot of stuff dropping in March. But once like those olives come out or it's about to come out, these are probably going to increase a little bit more in value. So if you're in the market for these, I would buy these right now. You know what I mean? Now, if you don't want to pay, you know, crazy amounts of money for a Travis Scott, I totally understand that. If you don't, you know what I mean? If you're one of those people that never, you know, pay $600, $700 for a shoe, I totally understand it. You know what I mean? Is this really worth six or $700? I'd probably use that money and get something else. You know what I mean? But if you want to get maybe your first Travis Scott, you know, this one is the cheapest right now and it's not a bad shoe. It's not. This is, is it worth all the crazy hype? You know what I mean? That was surrounding it? No. 
but it's a really nice sneaker and something that you know would make a nice addition to a lot of people's collection but guys this is my best advice to you you know is to hold on to these if you can um you know especially if you're in the market to sell them like down the line and you can afford to hang on to them i definitely would not let these go you know what i mean i would hold on to these for the long haul and if you're in the market to pick them up i think now is the best time uh you know what i mean two weeks ago when they were closer to 600 bucks that was the time to pull the trigger and if you didn't now is the best time because they're either kind of going to stay where they are as far as the prices go for a little bit or they're going to go up i don't see these going to four or five hundred bucks like some people think you know i just don't see it you know i could be wrong but guys if these do go to four or five hundred bucks buy as many pairs as you can because in the future you know these will definitely be worth a lot more money than they are today but other than that that's what i got for you guys today i appreciate all your time i'll catch you guys in the next video peace for more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.